recently the dude puff came out you know the video that came out of him hitting cassie he came out he made a public uh, apology some a lot of people didn't like the apology um i ain't really give it no thought i just listened to it and it, it, it is going it's just some, something that go with the story um but but just last night man usa today posted an article where puff daddy is being accused again so now this is like the third time of over a course of a number of years um i, I believe the woman uh, was in college at the time she said that puff um forced himself on her a number of times in the 90s all the way up in like the 2000s it was like five six times um where i guess they maintain some sort of relationship but puff would constantly you know take it. he'd be taking it from her, you know what i'm saying um all this is literally just coming out now so this is something that i guess came out after the apology um and it's just man more piling on puff man i didn't want to make a video about it and like i said we're gonna talk about just everything that's going on um jesse i know you you know back and forth to new york you you've had dealings in them say in them circles um yes, sir. What, yes, sir, are people, man. what are people talking about like like what's the what's the climate right now you know people kind of made joe budden jump out there and have to say something and like what's the climate right now just like on some in the industry about puff you know the, right now you know everybody you know puff done did a lot of favors over the years puff is in a lot of people's business Puff got a lot of information on a lot of people throughout the years. He's a powerful figure in this game. And right now, the whole industry is hush-hush, man. They, they trying to ignore it. They hoping that it disappear. They, they, letting them, they letting it play out how it's going to play out. They don't know if the laws is going to step in. They don't know if Puff going to bounce back. So everybody just staying quiet. They know Puff got information on them. They know Puff could expose them. And they just they playing it hush-hush. They playing it real close. You know what I'm saying? So um, this is my I, – I, I hear you because I was like that. So I believe you, because that's how I was for the past, like, two months now. It's been about two months, three months almost. Last time we talked, I was like, look, bro, all this stuff finna go away about Puff. You know, he did the apology. Now all this stuff's come, coming out about academics. They trying to just take people down. They gonna leave Puff alone. So that's why it was just crazy that, like, literally, we had that, we had that talk a day ago. Now here comes another accusation. Now I, this accusation to me, I, I I'm just gonna come out. I don't believe. It. I'm just come out and say that I don't believe. It. They piling on Puff. I feel like they piling on Puff. Man. Um, just from reading the report, like I said, you guys can go read the article. It's in USA Today. Uh, Puffy's been accused of a long-standing, like years long. This woman. Um, she says she met him in like 95. It happened a few times. And then it happened some more times in the 2000s. And I'm just like, I it, it just sounds crazy to me. Like you would have thought that she would have reported it then. You would have thought that she would have stopped having a relationship. It don't seem like they work together. It's just like you let a dude come over and rape you and then you do it again. Like it's that's weird. I'm not trying to victim shame enough. If your daughter was on a videotape getting drugged and beat by this man how would you respond to that why ain't you tell me as soon as it happened I'm scared why, of why would you wait you don't got how you scared get in your car you got a car just drive to your daddy house he, why he are chasing you me down. He, he chasing me down and all this bringing me back he gotta pull up in my crib then the same way how he chased you through that hallway and brought you back if you come to my house now he gotta pull up to my crib now he gotta deal with me i'm just saying yeah, that from a victim's yeah, you perspective know, from you know, a victim's perspective What's up? They don't have access, they don't be having access to you know people will be taking their phone, making sure. I mean, you know, when look, they go down, I, like, I, yeah, I'm not trying phone. to I'm not trying to over dig <laughs> into the situation. Right, right, right. But I would not on, like it. I would not like it if I saw that if I saw that happening to my daughter. Right. But but like I said, man, we got to believe in the legal system. He was never <laughs> charged for that. He was never charged for that. And even after L.A. County Sheriff saw the video, they said that it is no longer within a statute of limitation. You know what I'm saying? So, mm. so Puffy in a position now where he's just being crucified by the court of public opinion. Absolutely, man. I mean, uh -huh. like, listen, I think what, what I don't want to overly bring this stuff up, but I think one of the charges was like some lady from the 80s mm -hmm. talking about her. I, the, I remember that. Puffy and the dude ran.
on her. Like, like, yeah, the picture popped up online. I seen that. Right. So in this day and age, I believe that kind of like what we was talking about, man, people go for the easy kill. Mm. You know, you fucked with Puffy back in college and you know, it mm. probably was a little one sided. Mm, so you didn't you didn't get the best out the relationship. You see what I'm saying? So you a little sour. But Puff goes on to be Puff. You going to be you. You never have an opportunity for your get back. You never have an opportunity to to get some of those riches or or get right. some of that spotlight. You never had an opportunity until his girlfriend comes out, sues him, and then he pays her the next day, and now everybody soon. Right. And now he's on TV giving apologies and they're releasing videos and well shit. Let me put my lawsuit out there too. Well, this is the other side of it too, though. Puffy B, you know, and uh, this is what people don't realize about the music game. Puffy larger than life to a person trying to get into the music game. So a normal person might look at Puffy like, oh yeah, he just a dude getting money. But if you coming up in the music game and you rapping your heart out or you singing your heart out and you've been trying to get on over here, you've been doing auditions over there, Puffy might look like an angel. Puffy might look like God to some people in this game. Now, that's where it get nasty because how much are you willing to do? What are you willing to take for what you want? And then it's the other side of it when we talk about a relationship. I thought you liked that. If I do certain stuff to you, right? You don't leave. You come back tomorrow, right? I'm you thinking shit cool. I thought you like it. So, so that's the other side of that game. You know, we can't really negate the reality that even when it comes to uh, domestic violence relationships, some women and men, they think that's normal in a relationship. They think that you don't love me unless you're willing to risk your freedom, risk your life, risk my life. The whole puffy situation just over the past few months and the reasons why we haven't made videos and the reasons why we haven't reported on it. Is because, to be honest, bro, I don't understand people outrage. Mm. Okay, come on. Like, I understand the allegations, and I understand why people would be outraged at the allegations. But I don't really understand why people would be outraged at Diddy doing those things. Mm. Um, mm. In the first, or I think it was the second, the guy, Lil Rob, the producer, mm -hmm. I remember when, that. when he filed his lawsuit, he alleged that Puff sent him to the strip club every night with a bus to bring back bitches. Mm -hmm. He stated this in his in his lawsuit like this was like a bad thing. <laughs> So when you was talking about how when these people that coming up and they look at these people like gods, mm -hmm. so what are you willing to do for the god? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It it just rung so funny to me because I'm thinking to myself like if I'm an up and coming rapper, and for some way somehow I end up at fucking Diddy house, right? And then Diddy give me a bus and right. some money, come on, to go to the strip club. <laughs> to come back with a busload of bitches for all of us. Beautiful women. Let's call them a bunch of beautiful women, right? Where is the abuse? <laughs> How did you abuse little Rob by sending him to go get right. bitches at the strip club? Now this man fighting right. sex trafficking charges because this nigga is so lame. Mm, he don't want to go pick up the bitches for all of us. We're all these bitches today. Right now, we're going to do it. As soon as, we get back, as soon as you get back to the crib, it's going right. down, right? How the fuck is right. you mad at that? So that was so that's that's one thing. That was one thing. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is this, bro. And this and it go deeper to like we said, who are our heroes? Right. Okay. Come on. In the rap game, what they say the rap game is the crack game, is the street game, is the drug game. It's all the same game. They say that the popular dude in all them games is the biggest gangster, and the biggest gangster is a bad guy. So Puff, so Puff Daddy has ascended all of these games to the top, the upper echelon yes. of the game. No question. And now we're outraged that he's also the upper echelon of bad guys. If you, you know, fucking around, we the niggas to holler at right now, my nigga. Like, if you watch oh, the landscape, hey. if you watch the landscape, 
out of Texas, you know, it really ain't nobody to go to like that um, for, the, for the new niggas. If you don't want to step in bed with niggas who've been doing this shit 50 years, if you want a nigga who, hey, my nigga, straight from the hood, straight from the set, understand what time it is with niggas, hey, my nigga, come this way, my nigga, like, you know, we only want, like I say, we looking for raw niggas. We ain't really looking for niggas who got a million followers already, per se. If you do, we love it. But if you if you got 15 followers and you got that shit, every way this where you need to come, my nigga. Holes in your Armani suit. My man got shot in his face, busting cells on the roof. Shit wicked. I'm buying guns with my bread. Free dead and elevator. I know they sick of the feds. It's the wiggies. Ops got a plate on my head. I get busy. Y'all niggas better wait till I'm dead. And when I die, put a staircase in my casket. Send me to heaven with a Mac 10. Like, like.